welcome back to today's class we were actually discussing about accounting ratios and we have told that accounting ratios we can classify into four broad categories that is liquidity ratios solvency ratios turnover ratios and profitability ratios and we have discussed so far all the three different categories of ratios now the last category on the fourth category of ratios we are going to discuss today that is profitability ratios profitability ratios profitability ratios explains the profitability of the business profitability of the business means the capacity to get a good trading result or the financial position of the business so profitability ratio explains the ability of maintaining a good financial position of the business or ability of maintaining a good trading result of the business here we have to explain five different types of profitability ratios that is one gross profit ratio then operating ratio then operating profit ratio then net profit ratio and return on investment these are the five different ratios we are going to discuss today okay so out of this five let us discuss the first one this we will discuss one by one later now let us discuss gross profit ratio gross profit ratio explains the proportion of profits on sales or proportion of gross profit on total sales it explains the relationship between gross profit and sales that means out of the sales how much is the percentage of gross profit how much percentage of gross sales we are getting as gross profit so this ratio can be shown like this gross profit ratio is equal to gross profit divided by revenue from operation into hundred gross profit divided by revenue from operation into hundred so gross profit ratio is equal to gross profit divided by revenue from operation into hundred then how we can find out gross profit this last year also we have calculated this equation we have studied this equation gross profit is equal to how we can calculate ah revenue from operation or sales minus cost of goods sold or we can say that revenue from operation minus cost of revenue from operation <coughs> revenue from operation minus cost of revenue from operation is it clear okay so gross profit is equal to revenue from operation minus cost of revenue from operation so this is the equation for calculating gross profit then how we can find out gross cost of revenue from operation that also in the previous categories of ratios we have calculated cost of revenue from operation is equal to
is equal to opening stock or opening inventory plus purchase plus direct expenses minus closing inventory. Last year, this ratio is like calculating those ratios also we have calculated cost of revenue from operation. That means especially at the time of working capital return ratio, we have calculated this. One. This is otherwise we can calculate <coughs> cost of revenue from operation means revenue from operation that means sales minus gross profit also we can calculate gross this cost of goods. So revenue from operation minus gross profit. That means from sales if we deduct gross profit, we will get cost of goods sold or cost of revenue from operation. Or another ratio, another equation we can calculate. Use say opening inventory and closing inventory. One will be added, one will be deducted. So its difference we can take, but it is it will be changes in inventory. So by using that equation also we can calculate revenue from operation that means purchase plus direct expenses plus or minus changes in it. Plus or minus changes in inventory. Why plus or minus? If opening inventory is more than closing inventory, we will add. If closing inventory is more than opening inventory, that is the item to be deducted from closing inventory. If that is more than opening inventory, that is to be deducted. So purchase plus direct expenses plus or minus changes in inventory. In that way also we can calculate. Cost of revenue from operation. Okay. Now let us solve this equation with the help of a question. Okay. We can solve the question. So this is the question. Calculate gross profit ratio from the following information. We have given revenue from operations rupees six lakh. Gross profit that is twenty five percent on cost. On cost means on cost of goods sold. So let us calculate gross profit. Gross profit ratio is equal to gross profit divided by revenue from operation. Into hundred. We have to get the ratios in percentages. That's why using hundred. Okay. So gross profit is it given? No, it is not given. We have to find it out. Revenue from operation also not given. Revenue from operation it is given. Six lakh it is given. Okay, that that, that is directly given. We have to find out. Ah, gross profit. So it's working not we can do working not say what is given given gross profit is equal to twenty five percent on cost. What it means if Cost that means cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold or cost of revenue from operation, revenue from operation is equal to if it is hundred, that 
that's not true. 25% not cost. That means cost is 100, 25 is gross profit. So gross profit is equal to Twenty-five. So what will be revenue from operation? Revenue from operation means sales. Revenue from operation. That means sales. How we can calculate? Cost plus profit is equal to sales. Cost plus profit is equal to sales. That means hundred plus twenty-five is equal to hundred and twenty-five is the sales. That is given here as. 6 lakh rupees. Isn't it? 6 lakh rupees is given. Then we can calculate cost of revenue from operation. Isn't it? So otherwise we can directly calculate sales also. Let us calculate cost of revenue from operation. Cost of revenue from operation is equal to this 6 lakh that is sales if it is 125 what will be its 100 that will be cost of cost so we will get 4 lakh 80,000 what it is cost of revenue from operation then gross profit is equal to 4 lakh Sales minus cost of goods sold. We can write revenue from operation minus cost of revenue from operation is equal to revenue from operation six lakh. Minus four lakh eighty thousand. How much it will be? One lakh twenty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand. Okay. So otherwise we can calculate like this. Gross profit on sales. Gross profit on sales is equal to six lakh. We know. That we have, we know that it is 125. Then what will be 25? In that way also we can calculate. So that also 120,000 euros. So if you calculate like this, no need to calculate cost of revenue from operation. Okay, in this way also we can calculate. So 125,000, 120,000 is the gross profit. Revenue from operation we have received. We have got how much? 6 lakh. So, 1 lakh 20,000 divided by 6 lakh into 100. That is 20 percent. That means gross profit ratio is equal to 20 percent. Okay. So, this is the way of calculating gross profit ratio. Is it clear? Okay. Now let us solve another question related to the same ratio. Here the question says that calculate the gross profit ratio from the following information. Cash sales given. Cash sales is 25% of total sales. Purchase is 690,000 and credit sales 6 lakh. So excess of flow Closing inventory or opening inventory is 50 bucks. These are the information given to us. We have to calculate gross profit ratio. The equation is there here. Gross profit divided by revenue from operation into 100. So, revenue from operation we have to calculate first. Revenue from operation means total sales. Total sales we don't know. Only one information is given. Cash sales given and credit sales given. Cash sales is 25% of total sales, but we don't know total sales. So let us calculate the total sales first. Okay, so in working notes,
this given yard sales is equal to 25% of total sales that means if total sales we can take it as x then cash sales is equal to twenty five percent of x isn't it cash sales is equal to twenty five percent of total sales is equal okay percent of x so we can twenty five percent of x means x into twenty five by hundred so we can write it as x by four okay x by so total sales is equal to total sales we can calculate total sales that means x is equal to x plus ah x x by x by four is the cash sales cash sales is x by four plus credit sales is given credit sales six lakh okay by this x by four plus six lakh that means sales is equal to cash sales plus credit sales so we have cash sales x by 4 and credit sales 6 lakh we have so now we can substitute this one x by 4 plus 6 lakh we have got so from that we can calculate 4x is equal to equal to otherwise we can write the equation once again x here the equation is x is equal to x by 4 plus 6 lakh so x minus x by 4 we can write 3x by 4 is equal to 6 lakh so x is equal to 6 lakh by 3 into 4 Six lakh by three into four, so we will get x is equal to eight lakh. X means total sales. Total sales is equal to eight lakh. We have. Now what is the cost of revenue from operation? That means gross profit we have to get. Gross profit is total sales we have got. And twenty-five percent of total sales is gross profit. So we can calculate. Otherwise, we can calculate gross profit, cost of goods sold. Also, cost of goods sold we can calculate now. Cost of goods sold is equal to cost of goods sold means purchase is there. We can use this equation: purchase plus direct expenses then of changes in opening inventory is given. See, excess of closing inventory or opening inventory. That means opening closing inventory is more. So we will write minus changes in inventory. So purchase is now six lakh ninety thousand. Direct expense is not given. Changes in inventory fifty thousand. Six lakh ninety thousand minus ah uh, fifty thousand. That means six lakh forty thousand is what cost of goods or cost of revenue from operation. Now gross profit we can calculate. Is equal to 
revenue from operation minus cost of revenue from operation is equal to 8 lakh minus 6 lakh 40,000 so 1 lakh 60,000 is the gross profit otherwise as we have told we can calculate like this also gross profit is equal to 8 lakh into 25,000 that is also easy because 8 lakh is total sales if 25 percent is what? 3? Uh, that is cash sales only. Okay. That maybe we cannot calculate because this gross profit is not good. Okay? So it is cash price only 25 percent is. So we have to calculate good gross profits like this 1 lakh 60 percent. Now we have both gross profit and revenue from operation. Gross profit 1 lakh 60 thousand divided by 8 lakh into 100. So 20 percent is this. Okay. So this is the way of calculating gross profit. Now let us discuss next ratio operating ratio. Operating ratio. What is operating ratio? Operating ratio explains the operating cost with the sales. How much part of the sales is its operating cost? Operating cost means all the costs involved in the uh, business activities or trading activities. The total cost of trading activities. How far it is related to sales or how much portion of sales is covered with the operating costs or that means all the costs related to business. So we can calculate operating ratio as operating ratio is equal to cost of revenue from operation. That means cost of goods sold, cost of revenue from operation along with we will add all the indirect operating expenses, all the indirect expenses related to trading activities, indirect expenses related to trading activities are called operating expenses, so plus operating expenses divided by Revenue from operation. Revenue from operation into fund. Okay. So cost of revenue from operation plus operating expenses divided by revenue from operation into hundred. Or in another way we can calculate cost of revenue from operation and operating expenses. They are together called as Operating cost. Operating cost. Operating cost means all the expenses related to trading activities. Okay. Operating cost divided by revenue from operation into hundred. Okay. Then what is operating expenses? Operating expenses as we have told the cost of uh, goods sold plus all the expenses. Here this is called operating cost. Then what is operating expenses? Operating expenses means all the indirect expenses related to production and distribution of goods. So we can write employees benefit expenses. Employees benefit expenses plus 
administration expenses or visa and administration expenses plus selling and distribution expenses selling and distribution expenses plus depreciation and other expenses depreciation and other expenses other expenses related to business activities okay so that is how we are preparing operating expenses this is the sum total of all the operating expenses Okay. Now, so operating ratio is equal to cost of revenue from operation plus uh, operating expenses divided by revenue from operations. Operating expenses we can calculate like this, or we can say that operating cost divided by revenue from operation into hundred. Okay. Now let us solve the problem. Here the question says. From the following information, calculate operating ratio. Revenue from operation six lakh eighty thousand. Rate of gross profit on cost twenty five percent. See, the rate of gross profit on cost twenty five percent. That means if cost is hundred, gross profit is twenty five. Then what is sales? Sales is hundred and twenty five. So that is given. One lakh six lakh eighty thousand. So we have to calculate cost of revenue from operation. That means hundred. How much is hundred? Then selling expense is given. Administrative expense also is given. And with that we have to calculate operating ratio. So working on cost of revenue from operation. Is equal to six lakh eighty thousand. That is sales six lakh eighty thousand. That is hundred and twenty five. We know how how it is calculated. Cost is hundred. Gross profit is twenty five. Sales is equal to cost plus gross profit. That means hundred plus twenty five. Hundred and twenty five is sales. Then what will be? Cost of goods sold. Same way we have made the calculation in the previous problem also. If you have any doubt, you can refer once again that problem. Okay. So cost of revenue from operation, we will get five lakh forty four thousand. Five lakh forty four thousand. Okay. Then what is we calculated operating expense? Operating expense two operating expenses are given. Selling expenses plus administrative expenses. So operating expense is equal to selling expense plus administrative expense. That means. One lakh forty-four thousand plus seventy-five thousand. One lakh forty-four thousand plus seventy-five thousand. Two lakh seventeen thousand. Two lakh seventeen thousand. So now we have got operating expenses. We can substitute the equation. Cost of revenue from operation five lakh forty four thousand plus two lakh seventeen thousand divided by six lakh eighty thousand into hundred. That means five lakh forty four thousand divided by sorry plus two lakh seventeen thousand divided by six lakh eighty thousand. So seven lakh. Sixty thousand, seven lakh sixty thousand plus 
डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स लाख एटी थाउजेंड सिक्स लाख एटी थाउजेंड इनटू हंड्रेड सिक्स लाख एटी थाउजेंड इनटू हंड्रेड फाइव लाख फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड प्लस टू लाख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड सिक्स सॉरी here it is a mistake 7 lakhs 61000 divided by 6 lakhs 80000 into 100 so 7 lakhs 61000 divided by 6 lakhs 80000 into 100 we will get 111.98 okay so this is the way of calculating operating ratio okay now let us see the next Here only three items are given. Operating cost six lakh eighty thousand. Operating expense sixty eighty thousand. Gross profit ratio twenty five percent. We have to calculate operating ratio. See here first item operating cost is given, so we can calculate operating ratio with that equation. Operating ratio is equal to operating cost. Divided by revenue from operation into fund. Revenue from operation into fund. Okay. Now revenue from operation we don't know. We have to calculate it. So we can calculate working month. Gross profit ratio is given. Given gross profits. Ratio how much? Twenty five percent. That means sales is equal to hundred. And cost of revenue from operation. Cost of revenue from operation means hundred minus twenty five. That is seventy five. Okay. That means if if sales is hundred, cost of revenue from operation is seventy five. Cost of revenue from operation also we don't know, but we can calculate it. Cost of revenue from operation is the difference between these two. Okay. That means we know that operating cost is equal to operating cost is equal to cost of revenue from operation plus operating expenses. Operating cost how much? Six lakh eighty thousand is equal to this we don't know plus operating expenses eighty thousand. So we can take cost of revenue from operation is equal to. Six lakh eighty thousand minus eighty thousand is equal to six lakh. Okay. Then, therefore, revenue from operation is equal to six lakh is the cost of goods sold. That we know that if it is seventy five, what will be hundred? Okay, so it will be eight lakh. Okay, so operating cost is given six lakh eighty thousand divided by revenue from operation eight lakh into 
100. So how much we will get? 85%. So operating ratio is equal to 85%. Okay. Now let us discuss the next ratio. Operating profit ratio. Operating profit ratio explains the relationship between operating profit and sales. That means how much portion of revenue from operation is the operating profit. Operating profit means profit from normal business activities. That means without considering any non business expenses or incomes, non trading business or this non trading income or expenses. Okay. So we will consider here only the expenses and income related to business activities. Okay. So operating profit ratio is equal to operating profit divided by revenue from operation into 100. Operating profit divided by revenue from operation into 100. Operating profit divided by revenue from operation into 100. Then how we can calculate operating profit? Operating profit we can calculate by adding operating income uh, to gross profit and deduct operating expense. Okay, that means operating profit is equal to gross profit plus other operating income minus other operating expenses. That means all the indirect operating expenses should be added, income should be added and all indirect operating expenses should be deducted. Indirect business related expenses should be deducted. Then we will get operating profit. Or in another way we can calculate if we have given net profit, from the net profit we can deduct all non-operating expenses and can add all non-operating from the net profit, we can net profit if it is given, we can add all non-operating expenses and can deduct all non-operating income. Then also we can calculate operating profit. That means net profit plus non-operating expenses. Non-operating Why we are adding non-operating expenses? Because in order to find the net profit, we already deducted non-operating expenses. That's why we are adding that. We need not consider. Okay. For finding your net profit, we have already deducted non-operating expenses. And we don't want now, we don't want the non-operating expenses. That's why what is already deducted is adding that. Okay. Like that, non-operating income is already added, so we will deduct non-operating income. In that way also we can calculate operating profits. Or otherwise, one more method is there. Operating profit is equal to revenue from operation, that means sales. Sales minus operating costs. Revenue from operation minus operating costs. Operating costs we know what it is. Uh, here we have related to other operating expenses. That means employee benefit expenses, administration expenses, selling and distribution expenses, depreciation. And other 
operating expenses. All these things together called all the operating expenses. That means all the expenses, all the business related expenses shown in the profit and loss will be deducted from sales to get the operating profits. Okay. Understood? So operating profit ratio is equal to operating ratio, operating profit divided by revenue from operation into 100. So last class we have now, in the last before this we have studied operating ratio. Operating ratio. Now, now we have studied operating profit ratio. Operating Profit ratio. If we add it together, what we will get? Its result will be 100. By operating ratio says that what is the total expense related to business activities? Suppose it is 75 percent or 80 percent. Then what will be the operating profit ratio? Uh, because this is the cost. If 80% is the cost, 20% will be the operating profits or operating profit ratio. Then because total sales or the total income revenue will be 100. That means if we know operating ratio, we can find out operating profit ratio. Otherwise, if we know operating profit ratio, we can find out operating ratio. That means 100 minus operating ratio is operating profit ratio. Or otherwise 100 minus operating profit ratio is equal to operating ratio. Okay. Yes. Now let us solve the question to this. Here the question is calculate operating profit ratio from the following. We have given here opening inventory, purchases, sales, gross sales is given. Post closing inventory, administrative expenses, selling expenses, dividend on trades, loss by theft, sales returns. So here we have given this many information, we have to use this equation to find out operating profit ratio. So operating profit divided by revenue from operation into 100. So we have to find out revenue from operation and operating profit. Let us find out revenue from operation first. Revenue from operation means sales. Sales means net sales. Sales, net sales means sales minus sales returns. Sales minus sales returns is equal to 7,50,000 minus 15,000 sales return is 15,000 so 7,35,000 this is the revenue from operation now let us find out operating profit operating profit operating profit we know that Sales minus operating costs is operating profit. Sales minus or revenue from operation minus operating costs. Revenue from operation we know that sales, sales we have got minus Operating cost means cost of goods sold minus operating expenses. Sales of that means revenue from operation that means sales minus from that we have to take operating cost that means cost of goods sold plus another operating expenses. Cost of goods sold we can calculate opening stock plus purchase plus direct expenses we have to take 
direct expenses nothing is there then we can add other expenses like the administrative expenses plus selling expenses minus cost closing stock 75000 okay so we have we have not written these two items dividend on shares this is financial expense not related to business and this loss loss by theft is abnormal loss that also not related to normal business activities it is abnormal uncertain loss so finance cost and then abnormal losses need not, need not be considered finance cost and then abnormal loss need not be considered so in order to avoid those for understanding purpose only that expenses are given in your exam question also sometimes it may be given operate this finance cost or any non non operating expenses may be given that need not be considered okay it may be given for simply confusing okay so that need not be taken so sales we know 7 lakh 35000 minus opening stock 50000 Plus purchase five lakh plus administrative expenses twenty five thousand plus selling expenses sixty thousand minus seventy five thousand. That means seven lakh thirty five thousand minus this we can take together. Five lakh sixty thousand. We have to add all these things and to deduct seventy five thousand. That means operating profit will get one lakh seventy five thousand. Okay, one lakh seventy five thousand is the operating profit. Now operating profit divided by revenue from operation into hundred. One lakh seventy five thousand divided by Revenue from operation seven lakh thirty five thousand into hundred. So how much will we get? It's twenty three point eight one percent. Okay. So this is the way of calculating operating cash. Now let us calculate the next ratio return on investment. Now let us. Discuss net profit ratio before discussing return on investment ratio. Okay, net profit ratio we will discuss now. Net profit. Ratio. Net profit ratio explains the net profit and its relation with the revenue from operation. That means it explains how much portion of sales is its net profit. Okay, so we can calculate the equation like this: net profit divided by revenue from operation into hundred. Net profit divided by revenue from operation into hundred. Okay, so this is the simple one. Now let us calculate. Net profit ratio with an example. Okay, let us solve it. From the following information, calculate net profit ratio. Revenue from operation is given. Gross profit is given. Sales, salaries and wages is given. Advertisement expenses is given. Then interest and rent. Rent is in the beer. Rent also. What we have to calculate net profit ratio. We have to calculate net profit divided by revenue from operation into hundred. So how to calculate net profit? Net profit is equal to income minus all other expenses. 
Here, revenue from operation sales given, sales minus all other expenses we can calculate, but we don't know that what is the cost of goods sold. But here we have given gross profit. From the gross profit, if we deduct all indirect expenses and add all indirect income, what we will get? Net profit. So, gross profit plus indirect income, indirect income minus indirect expenses. Okay. So, gross profit, you know, gross profit 2 lakh. Plus indirect income, what is the indirect income here? Rent is the indirect income. So 60,000 minus indirect expenses. Indirect expenses, salaries and wages 45,000. Advertisement expenses 10,000 and interest 5,000. Okay. So 2 lakh 60,000 minus 60,000 is equal to 2 lakh. 2 lakh is the net profit. Okay, sales it is given here. So net profit ratio is equal to net profit 2 lakh divided by sales 5 lakh into 100 so 40% is the net profit ok so this is the way of calculating net profit now let us discuss return on investment Return on investment ratio. This says that how much is the net return? That means profit before interest and interest, dividend and tax out of the total capital. That means how much is the profit from the business for a certain amount of capital input. That's what it is return on the investment. Capital employed is the total investment of the business. Out of that capital employed, how much is the return? So this ratio is otherwise called return on capital employed. Return on capital employed. This ratio we can calculate profit before interest, tax and dividend. Before deducting interest, tax and Dividend, what is the profit? Divided by capital employed into one. Profit before interest, tax, and dividend divided by capital employed. into 100. Okay. We have calculated capital employed in the previous ratios. Capital employed is the sum total of equity, equity capital that means owner's fund and the borrowed fund. Okay. So that is the total capital employed. We can, we can see how it is calculated by referring to previous videos of the same chapter. Okay. Now let us solve the question. Related to given calculates return on investment from the following net profit after interest and tax 6 lakh, 10 percent debenture 10 lakh, tax 40 percent capital and value 80 lakh. We are going to calculate profit this in return on capital and value or return on investment ratio. Okay. So let us see here
Here it is given that we have to calculate profit before interest and tax and dividend. But here net profit after interest and tax is given. That means after deducting interest and tax. We have to take net profit before deducting interest and tax. Okay. Then capital employed is directly given. So let us find out profit before deducting interest and tax. Dividend of course it is not given here. So we have to calculate profit before interest and tax. For that it is given here. Given tax is equal to 40%. Therefore if profit before tax is 100 then tax is equal to 40 then what will be profit after tax and profit after tax is equal to 60 so that is given here profit after interest and tax so from the profit first we will deduct interest then after that we will deduct tax so after deducting tax means after deducting interest and tax that is given 6 lakh so we have to calculate first profit before tax therefore profit before tax is equal to 6 lakh 6 lakh it is given here 6 lakh if it is 60 what will be 100 so we will get 10 lakh what is 10 lakh profit before tax then we know that interest interest is 10 percent debenture so interest is Interest is equal to 10 lakh into 10 percent. How much? 1 lakh. That means the interest on loan. So interest means before interest means before deducting interest on loan. So before deducting interest on loan. Then what will be the profits? Profits before interest and tax before means before deducting is equal to 10 lakh plus 1 lakh is equal to 11 lakh so we have got profit before interest and tax and capital employed is directly given now we can calculate return investment so profit before interest on interest and tax and dividend how much? 11 lakh Capital employed 80 lakh Into 100 Ok That means 13.75% Is the Return on investment ratio Ok So today we have discussed the last Segment of ratio analysis By this we are Minding up this chapter so all the four sections of ratio analysis we have studied here. You can refer the related problems from your reference books and practice more ratios. Because you can expect one project from this chapter. Okay. Thank you.